During a Thursday press briefing, White House Press Secretary Camille Jean-Pierre scolded a reporter for asking a question when she wasn't called on. The reporter said that she had been trying to ask a question for a long time. Jean-Pierre responded by saying she jumps around with who she chooses to ask a question. As the reporter continued talking, Press Secretary Jean-Pierre scolded her, saying, quote, you're not being respectful. I'm going to go around. I met we can go we we can we can we can go back and forth on it. We can go back and forth on it. I, I was supposed to go to Chris in the back and I skipped him, so I'm going to go back to Chris. Great. My question is about the marriage bill that it's in the You're not being respectful. Go ahead. To your colleagues, to your own colleagues. As you see, I jump around. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Respect your colleagues. Respect your colleagues. Go ahead, Chris. My question is, will the Please president leave. reach out to Senator Schumer about scheduling a vote on that marriage bill when uh, the lawmakers return from... I'm sorry, because you're going to have to start from the beginning because there okay. was some disrespect okay. happening. This is the legislation of, uh, uh, for lawmakers upon the debate left upon Senate recess. recess. You're being disrespectful. Go ahead. The marriage bill, will Senator Schumer reach out for a... Uh, uh, will the president reach out to Senator Schumer for a vote on the legislation when all lawmakers return from recess? So is the president going to, it doesn't make sure I heard this right, is the president going to reach out to Senator Schumer for a vote? Yes. Okay. So um, as you know, we are constantly in conversation with Congress, members of Congress. This is something that we put out a SAP uh, when it first passed the House supporting uh, the marriage e equality bill. This is in incredibly important to the president. You heard from him back in, I believe, 2012 when he was one of the first voices to talk about how important uh, marriage equality uh, was uh, being, you know, being ahead of many others. Uh, he has been a advocate uh, for the community. He will continue to be an advocate uh, for the community. So because of that SAP, it showed our support, saying this is something that we want uh, to see pass. Uh, I, I'm not going to get into private conversations that we have had, uh, but certainly that uh, uh, that SAP that we put out shows how committed we are uh, and how much we we want to see uh, that happen, folks. I will I will see. Tomorrow. For uh, a religious combination to get the 60 votes uh, that would be necessary to end the filibuster to get the process moving. Does the administration see value in such an amendment to the bill? Uh, say that one more time. There's talk about an amendment to the okay. bill that would uh, allow for religious, uh, uh, some sort of religious accommodations uh, in order to get the 60 votes to get the bill uh, advanced. Yeah. Does the administration see value so, in that? So, as you know, we've we've always said we leave the mechanics of, of the Senate uh, or, or Congress, uh, in this case the Senate, uh, to the Senate and the leadership. And uh, and But we'll continue to have those conversations. This is an issue that is, and you know this, Chris, uh, tremendously important to this president. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.